What's up guys? Uh, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Yudis Bang. And this is my first YouTube channel. And it, I decided, you know, if I'm going to do a YouTube channel, I'm going to be something I've always wanted to get behind. You know, that's high clothing. So, um, I got some, I got an unboxing here for you today. You know, I plan on doing some reviews, unboxings, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, here we go. You know, uh, I haven't always been into Supreme. And, uh, you know, other hype clothing, I've always liked them, but I always thought they were overpriced. But that's only because I didn't do my, you know, my research. I didn't know about drop days. I didn't, you know, I didn't know about any of that. I just seen high prices with the, you know, Supreme logo on it. But, you know, after doing a little research, you know, I found out there's a whole culture behind it. And I wanted to get into that. And, well, here you go, guys. This is my, my first purchase from Supreme Drop Day. You know, this is the Opinal number 8. Knife, and uh, I was like, man, I know quite a bit about knives. It'll be the perfect thing to do a review on. And well, here we go. So, oh, look, I know y'all, y'all see my hat. It's a uh, fall winter 2020 drop. This I got from StockX. I didn't, I didn't get it on drop day. And I got a spring shirt. And but you know, it's a brick. You can get these anywhere. You know, I paid retail for this. Took an L on the hat. But I liked it, so I got it. Got the got the knife open on for retail, and you know after this video, I'll, I do plan on putting it online to sell. You know, part of the culture, part of it. And so here we go. Let's see, by the way, guys, I'm doing off my Galaxy Note Ultra. Um, I ain't got a camera yet. I want to see how this first run goes. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's do a legit check. Don't mind my hair, guys. Yeah, don't mind that. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> you know, if any of you guys want to scan that, StockX verified, authentic, seven and a quarter. Supreme. Yes, I kept that on. But just for this video. After today, I can finally take it off. But let's get into this unboxing. Let's see what we got here. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Yeetus. If you plan on selling that, why are you, why are you opening it? Well... My lose little money, but if it helps you guys know what you see what you want online, then that's what's up. So, you know, some people might plan a daily this knife. Oh, that's bigger than I thought it'd be. But here we go, guys. This is the Supreme Open number eight. So when I first got this, I, I didn't think I was gonna like this knife at all. You know, I'm, I'm a big knife guy, and yeah, I didn't I didn't think I was gonna like this knife. But also, I saw some reviews on the regular open on the non Supreme version. I was like, wow, I kind of want to keep that now because it's different than you know what I'm used to. So here we go. This is the blade. So, what made me like this knife so much is actually the locking mechanism. You really don't see that. And how it works is, you turn it, and it locks right up. And the reason I didn't like, or why I thought I wasn't gonna like this knife was because I didn't think it had a locking mechanism. And you know, I like I like the locking mechanism for practical uses and you know, never know, self-defense. But it does have one. And it's actually an old French design. And I like that a lot. It even says right here, made in France. And I like that a lot. Dang. You know, no blade wobble. Nothing. So unlock it, and just sw swivel it back, close her up. You know, and the best part is, you can lock it while it's closed. 
if that ain't opening in your pocket, which I don't know how it would, but it's not. So I did a little research on this Opino, on this Opino company, and what I could, what I saw was this is the original design going back 200 years. I don't know 200 years, but that sounds good. It's an old design, all right. That's an old design, and I like that. Apparently, this was you know this was an every EDC carry for the French farmer way back when it was one of these, and they kept them. They're relatively cheap and good quality. Until this day, these are good quality and cheap. But I don't know about this one so much. Opino has another model, well, not Supreme, has another model with a high carbon blade. This blade is just, you know, high chromium, soft steel. And, uh, you know, uh, chromium makes them shiny, heavy, and people relate that to good quality. They sharpen easy. But they don't, the, the blade won't last long. Now, the Opino does have a high carbon uh, uh, blade model. And a few other ones besides the uh, Opino number 8. They got like number 9. Who knows what other numbers. It doesn't say Supreme, so I really don't care. But yeah. The, uh, the other model has a high carbon blade. This one, nah. I, I prefer my blades high carbon. The, the knife I used to open this was high, uh, high carbon. But yeah, it's a little, a little bit more of a look around, you know. It says Supreme, I got the black option. The locking mechanism where the blade comes out. And it's got a it's got a hole in the pommel. I'm going to call it a pommel because it's closed off at the end. So I'm going to call it a pommel, you know. Faux leather, little keychain or whatever, lanyard. And that's really about it, you know. Ain't much to the knife. But that's what I got for you. You know, I don't know if y'all want to see the barcode from the wrapper it came in. I'm probably gonna stick this on the box, you know, before maybe on the back on it. You know, barcode. Someone's probably gonna want it. And I'm gonna put it for sale. I'm not exactly too sure where I'm gonna put it for sale yet. You know, I'm still figuring this out. I'm not the type of guy to do research before jumping in. I like to learn things on my own. And I did a couple other things like that on my own. I wanted to figure out how StockX works with the bidding system. Well, so, I bought this, you know? I was like, man, this can match any fit. You know, I'm a smoker. Whatever shirt you're wearing, just pop a different lighter and, you know, you match. Put it on the chain, even better. So, yeah. Don't know where I'm going to put it for sale yet, guys. What do you recommend, you know? I, I, I like figuring stuff on my own or hearing, you know, from another person straight on. I don't I don't like looking up how to do something, all that. I like to figure it out. Try to at least. Sometimes I can't help it. I'm only human. But anyways, yeah. So I was thinking bump. I don't think I want to put go on StockX because you know, with the whole bidding system, whoever whoever has the puts the lowest for sale is the first one that's going to sell. And I ain't, you know, I'm trying to make a little money here, you know, have some fun. But we'll see what happens. I got some other I got some other stuff in. I got some clothes. I got some other items, some stickers. And yeah. I'll come back with you guys. Actually, no, wait, hold on. I'll be right back. So I got a question for you guys. I don't know if this is just me. It happened to me, you know, bad luck or whatever. But I was really excited to get my box logo stickers. I never had a I never had a you know Supreme sticker before. So I was excited whenever I got my first order. And I, you know, I got my stickers. And I was really excited because they sent me the, the register to vote ones. I was like, hell yeah. But is anyone else like this or is it just me? I don't even know if you can be able to see it on camera. You see that? It's like the barcode, the scan code or whatever bled through. Is that normal? They sent me trash stickers that are worthless. You know, I plan on keeping them, but I don't know. With with this a sweater or sweat or you know long sleeve, uh, they sent me you know just regular ones. They sent me two, but they had like some sort of sticky residue stained on you know on the front of them, two of them, and so that was twice in a row that you know I got some bunk stickers. Is that often? Like, do you have to like make the big purchases 
to get some cool stickers or is it just 100% you know random lottery let you, uh, let me know guys also let me know down below you know where you go to buy and sell your uh, your supreme your hype clothing uh, I really appreciate it cuz I ain't googling that <laughs> anyways uh like and share for me one guys it's been your boy Yudas Bang I appreciate it deuces